the profit experts. 21st Century Retail Loss Prevention Strategy The fundamental principles which underpin any successful business are the increase in profit and decrease in expenditure. The strict application of the above principles has been responsible for the success of most businesses. On the other hand, failing to apply these principles has been responsible for the demise of the large majority of failed business. Similar principle applies to the retail industry. Over 50% of retail ventures go bust before their third birthdays. The reason for this being, in the retail industry, the main performance indicator KPI, is increasing sales without the application of the second part of the equation, which is decreasing expenditure. The key question that most retailers need to ask themselves is this. Does increased sale really lead to increased profit? In order to increase sales, a retailer has to carry out additional promotions, advertise, improve customer service, or offer a huge discount. Even though these measures are not guaranteed to increase sales, with their implementation there is a chance that sales could be increased. Decreasing expenditure on the other hand means one thing and one thing only to most retailers, making some employees redundant. Those are antiquated techniques that have no place in the modern retail environment. The key element that guarantees a healthy return on investment, or increased profit, is increasing sales and decreasing shrinkage. The average retailer makes a 1% net profit out of each dollar, and the industry shrinkage percentage is 2.6%. This means that shrinkage is almost three times the average retailer's profit margin. Therefore, if we take the above calculation, we will see that if retailers reduce shrinkage by 50%, from 2.6 cents to 1.3 cents, they could easily more than double their profits, from 1 cent to 2.3 cents. Consequently, instead of retailers following the conventional practices of decreasing expenditure, by staff cutting, an implication of the above calculation is that retailers have the opportunity to increase their profit margin without necessarily getting rid of their staff. Now, how can retailers decrease shrinkage? This question has formed the core of loss prevention discussions in many quarters, with expert after expert coming up with their own suggestions of how shrinkage can be reduced. While many of these suggestions may make for a great sound bite, they have still not been able to produce the desired result. The shrinkage rate from 2005 to 2010 in North America remains stable, 1.48% to 1.49%. In Europe it stayed at 1.23% from 2006 to 1.33% in 2009. However, within the same period, retail loss prevention spending continued to rise to the highest rank of 0.46% in the, the United States. Despite the increase in loss prevention spending each year for the past 10 years, retail shrinkage either plateaued or decreased by just a few percentage points, which does not correlate with the amount spent on loss prevention. Why is that the case? To answer this question, I will relay a story. On Monday the 6th of December 2010, I visited the Trafford Centre in Manchester, UK. On my way out, I noticed that the electronic article surveillance is, gates at John Lewis were located outside of the store and there were no staff members around monitoring the gates. The first issue here is that even if the gates sounded, there were no staff members around to speak to the person concerned. Secondly, the fact that the gate was located outside of the store, instead of inside, rendered it useless. 
This is a classic example of the misuse of technology and the wrong application of loss prevention strategy. To place an ears outside the store defeats the objective for which it was installed. The above example clearly illustrates why, despite increased spending on loss prevention, retail shrinkage levels have remained the same. The application of loss prevention over the years has been completely incorrect. In most cases retail loss prevention professionals focus on a single variable believing that the removal of that variable would result in an effective loss prevention strategy. Retail shrinkage results from a multiplicity of occurrences, therefore an attempt to resolve it requires a multifacet approach. I believe that the most effective way of reducing retail shrinkage and increasing profit is creating a culture of loss prevention that permeates throughout the DNA of the organization. A culture in which employees are willing to help in the fight against shrinkage. It is people who create retail shrinkage and it is only those same people who can reduce it. Retail technology expert, for measures to avoid inventory shrinkage. Among the various market systems that have evolved in the recent years, the retail marketing system is one of the most successful systems. Setting up of more and more number of retail stores at various places helps the customers to gain easy access to the products offered at these stores. However, there are also issues that are to be addressed in this kind of marketing system. One such issue is the asset protection. It is extremely important that all the inventory of the business is safeguarded in order to enhance the profits of a business. There will be lots of stock that gets distributed at the multiple retail outlets of a business. There is a huge scope for things to go wrong while protecting the assets. Also many researches that have been conducted over several retail stores throughout the country and the statistics obtained, project a huge increase in the losses being caused by the inventory shrinkage. In spite of companies resorting to the retail technology experts for the effective asset protection techniques, there is still an increase in the amount of inventory shrinkage. This increase can attribute to several factors. Some of the main factors are listed below. Lack of detailed data regarding the inventory shrinkage over a period of time which can be considered as a fault in the approach. Also many retail technology experts fail to identify the actual problem. Wrong choice of approach that would yield deficient results and finally the whole process ending up as a failure. Specific pattern not being followed in the process of identifying the real issue. It is important that the companies focus on these points to find a solution that would be strategic and that would actually offer solution to the problem. One solution that can help you find the best asset protection systems is to approach a fine retail technology expert. A retail technology expert company would always help the retailer identify the exact problems that lead to the inventory shrinkage. Thereby, they would also suggest solutions that can help retailers fix their problems. Another major problem that is to be addressed is the lack of willingness of the many retailers to actually fight back the problem of inventory shrinkage. Retailers often tend to neglect many steps that have to be followed in order to reduce the inventory shrinkage of a company to a considerable extent. For all the things to fall in place and for the things to work out in the right way, it might actually consume more time than the expected time. But, the retailer should be willing to follow the entire process suggested by the retail technology expert step by step patiently in order to expect a positive outcome. This is definitely one of the major aspects that need attention. Many retailers actually confess that inventory shrinkage is one of the main problems that they face in their business. 
but, when asked about the solution or the methodology that they follow in order to tackle this problem, one can notice that there is no specific answer from them. This kind of negligence and ignorance might land the retailers in lot of trouble. In view of these facts, it is important that the retailers get in touch with an experienced retail technology expert and also invest in a plan that would surely yield results. Also it is essential that it is just the owner of the stores who has to be aware of these things, but also each and every staff member need to be educated about the amount of losses that a business has to witness if proper measures are not taken to control the shrink. For any industry profit is made by improving sales and reducing expenditure. In retail industry where the margins are significantly low, it is very important to see to it that the losses are reduced. Shrinkage is the primary concern of any retail company today. Shrinkage due to employee error, customer theft and many other reasons amounts to a significant part of losses incurred. Today, the need of the hour is to have good loss prevention systems to ensure better business in retail industry. Reliable and effective loss prevention systems can ensure sustainability of business for a longer period of time. In a time where the competition is huge, it is very important to sustain one's business in the market. Several retail firms have already taken certain measures as part of loss prevention systems. Enhancement of security personnel strength, training the employees on loss prevention, installing new security equipment, etc. have already been considered as part of loss prevention systems. The return on investment on each of these measures has been mapped and the results are as follows. Measures spending while well achieved trained employees 6.8 percent 50 percent security personnel 56.2 percent 2 percent security equipment 29 percent 45 percent signs and others 8 percent 3 percent The above table shows the percentage of spending and the return on investment achieved in the last year. It clearly shows that well-trained employees and enhancing security equipment can be the important aspects of loss prevention systems. For 12 months ending June 2009, the loss incurred by the retailers of UK as stated by the Global Retail Theft Barometer is £4,063. Out of which, majority of loss was due to customer theft followed by the employee theft. The loss prevention resources allocation and the WOW achieved shown above has determined the areas which have to be considered for higher allocation later on. Effective loss prevention systems only can help reduce shrinkage. The retail firms can take the help of loss prevention experts to make this possible. There are several tested and proven loss prevention systems which can be implemented. However, several store-specific and regional-specific loss prevention systems may need to be taken up to reduce shrinkage. The loss prevention systems should be able to comprise of all the below important points to be effective. Should be able to measure the density of the problem and quantity of loss occurring. Should help identify the problem as problem identified is half the problem solved. Involve top management in the loss prevention systems. This would ensure complete accountability of all employees to make the loss prevention systems be effective. Should be able to bring awareness about the loss prevention systems to all the employees of the firm. Should include continuous training to the employees. Should take advantage of the latest technology available. Loss prevention systems should be flexible enough in approach. 
should help sustain loss prevention for a longer period of time. The above are a few of the aspects the loss prevention systems need to imbibe to ensure complete success. It is very important for the top management to take an active part in loss prevention systems. Certain amount of liberty has to be given to the individual store managers to make necessary changes in the store to prevent loss. Placing premium products in a secure display area would avoid theft by customers considerably. The checks out tills need to be fitted with pose and exception reporting technologies. This would help the loss prevention personnel a chance for early intervention. There are also several websites on the internet which can provide well-tested loss prevention systems for the retail firms. Thank you for watching. Join us at http colon slash slash www.theprofitexperts.co.uk